guys, it's Epic Underworlds, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing episode one of me starting to make my very own comic. So most of you might know me on this channel for making paper computer games or trading card games. And don't worry, none of that is going away. Uh, just uh, due to some recent complications, I've decided to just take a step back from that for a moment and decide to work on a fresh new project um, to regain that inspiration and stuff. After recently finishing my new paper computer game called The Hotel, I really dove into trying different perspectives and just different art techniques in general. I was like, hey, you know, I'm actually not that terrible at art as I thought I was. Uh, I know this is pretty elementary compared to a lot of artists, but I was proud of it. And I was like, hey, maybe I should start making my own manga or comic. So I just started planning out this really rough draft of some characters and some basic storylines. And I was like, okay, let's make it. So I got a sketchbook and I started planning out a super, super, super rough draft of my uh, first few pages or panels in the comic. And uh, I would later go on to remake this on digital. So I took out my drawing iPad and I started making the first uh, screen. You know, this doesn't look terrible. I'm actually really happy with that art. It turned into my channel profile picture. And I wanted this comic to be some sort of a darker theme. I started experimenting with drawing people and cloaks, and it just really wasn't turning out well, and I didn't like how it was going. So, I got a book on basically how to draw stuff, and I was like, you know, how would I just start drawing this on paper? And I could later transfer the panels into digital. So I sat down that night, and I just started drawing like crazy. I started off with this, and I was experimenting with just... They basically, this was me trying to make my very first comic. And I think it turned it out... I think this first screen turned out pretty well. Um, I personally like that uh, picture of the guy. His name's Ral. This is kind of the comic name of the series. And then, um, so this this page itself took me a very long time. And I was getting a little uh, unmotivated. So I purchased a few manga. The first one being Berserk, I've heard great things about this, and I'm already on book 8, or I think volume 8, and it's really good. I love the themes of this, um, I, I think it's pretty chaotic, and I just think the art in this is stunning, and this really inspired me to go all in and make a comic. I got a few more art supplies, including some dummies and some new colored pencils, and I started drawing page 2. Page 2 would come in many different versions before I finally sat down and was happy enough with this but even then like the chin on that girl and also some other uh, art in this just really wasn't turning out and i hated the idea of if i messed up on one panel like i would have to redo the whole thing so i started thinking i was like wait can't i just use digital and the physical medium together so i went into procreate and i basically designed the same template but i inserted the separate panels so in case let's say i'm probably going to redo this panel I don't have to redo the whole page. I can just take a picture and insert this specific panel back into the, uh, the, the page itself. And I found that this process actually worked a lot better. I could also um, change the hue and saturation of the images. And I think this is just going to be how I'm going to do it. I think the first issue of my comic isn't going to be too big. It's just going to be just enough to get you guys excited in the story. I started drawing the third page, but again, there's many different drafts. And uh, that's kind of the turning point where I was like, you know, I'm just going to do digital and physical medium. So this is episode one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any comments, let me know. And uh, I can't wait to make episode two and give you guys all updates.